God's Provision. Today's scripture and insight, Genesis chapter 23 verses 1 to 20. Now Sarah lived 127 years, these were all the years of her life. Sarah died in Kiriath Arba, that is, Hebron, in the land of Canaan, and Abraham went in to mourn for Sarah and to weep for her. When Abraham got up from beside his dead wife, he spoke to the Hethites, I am an alien residing among you. Give me burial property among you so that I can bury my dead. The Hethites replied to Abraham, Listen to us, my lord. You are a prince of God among us. Bury your dead in our finest burial place. None of us will withhold from you his burial place for burying your dead. Then Abraham rose and bowed down to the Hethites, the people of the land. He said to them, If you are willing for me to bury my dead, listen to me and ask Ephron's son of Zohar on my behalf to give me the cave of Machpelah that belongs to him, it is at the end of his field. Let him give it to me in your presence, for the full price, as burial property. Ephron was sitting among the Hethites. So in the hearing of all the Hethites who came to the gate of his city, Ephron the Hethite answered Abraham, No, my lord. Listen to me. I give you the field, and I give you the cave that is in it. I give it to you in the sight of my people. Bury your dead. Abraham bowed down to the people of the land and said to Ephron in the hearing of the people of the land, Listen to me, if you please. Let me pay the price of the field. Accept it from me, and let me bury my dead there. Ephron answered Abraham and said to him, My lord, listen to me. Land worth four hundred shekels of silver. What is that between you and me? Bury your dead. Abraham agreed with Ephron, and Abraham weighed out to Ephron the silver that he had agreed to in the hearing of the Hethites, four hundred standard shekels of silver. So Ephron's field at Machpelah near Mamre, the field with its cave and all the trees anywhere within the boundaries of the field, became Abraham's possession in the sight of all the Hethites who came to the gate of his city. After this, Abraham buried his wife Sarah in the cave of the field at Machpelah near Mamre, that is, Hebron, in the land of Canaan. The field with its cave passed from the Hethites to Abraham as burial property. Sarah died at the age of 127 years, which may seem like a random detail. However, I see God's gracious provision here. Sarah was 90 years old when Isaac was born, not only too old to have children, but also too old to spend any significant time with them. And yet God gave Sarah almost four decades with her son. Even the span of our short lives rests in the hands of a God who cares about these details. 23-2-20 Why all this talk about a burial plot? Remember where Abraham was, in Kiriath Arba, that is, Hebron, in the land of Canaan, 23-2. Abraham was in the land of promise, and saw in his wife's death the opportunity to seize the first fruits of God's promise. This explains why he insisted upon paying the full price for his burial plot, 23 to 9, 13, rather than receiving it as a gift, as Ephron and the other local leaders desired, 23 to 6, 11. Abraham knew he could hold no lasting right to a gifted grave. An actual sale, on the other hand, with an exchange of money, 23 15, and a company of witnesses, 2316, would give him a toehold in possessing the land of promise. Please, like, share, subscribe.